What's up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another figure review. And I thought today we'd take a look at another one of the G.I. Joes I got graded recently by Action Figure Authority. And for whatever reason, I, I have no idea why, but this is the Heat Viper from I believe 87 or 88. We'll take a look at the AFA uh, grading label, but for whatever reason, I just love this figure. I don't know. I have no idea why. There's no logical reason for it because he's so ridiculous looking. I mean, he, I mean, just look at him. He looks like some kind of, you know what he looks like? He looks like an armored Ghostbuster from the second Ghostbusters. Not, not the really good Ghostbusters, the, the, ver the first one, but the second crappy Ghostbusters where they're like, where they convert their ecto packs or whatever to fire goo. Like they fire like slime. And that's what it looks like. He looks like some kind of like armored Ghostbuster. He just looks ridiculous. But I've always loved him. I, I think it's because he's got so many accessories and he's so armored. And he comes with like missiles that attach to his legs and everything. I, I don't know. That's the only reason I can come up with. But I had an army of these loose. I mean, I had probably 15 of these things. And I sold them all individually. And they still go for, if you got them complete, because they're so hard to get complete, they go for a pretty good price. I was, I get, I was getting about 20 or 25 bucks a piece for them. And I think I paid for this one ungraded. I want to say I paid about 50 or 70. No, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. I bought this one at a comic shop, carded for $20. That's right. If you go back and look at my very first video on my channel, I bought this one for $20 carded from a, a comic shop. And believe it or not, it came back with a near mint grade. I, I was not expecting it. But for a twenty, for a for a vintage GI Joe, I got I got a, 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 a eighty five score on it. So let's take a look at him. The only negative, obviously, is you got the price tag right in the middle of the artwork. But you can see, I mean, it looks it, it really does look like some kind of like giant Ghostbuster slime cannon that he's carrying around. But I do love the the missiles that are uh, attached to his ankles. You can kind of see there on the on the pegs of the figure there where the where the uh, missiles attach. There's three missiles per leg you can see the gigantic cannon that he's got there with the hose that attaches uh, that hose attaches to a nub on his uh on his helmet as you can see in the artwork and then you can see all of the different missiles there uh along with the backpack so he's a pretty ridiculous figure but he's pretty cool looking uh the heat as you can see in the label high explosive anti-tank cobra bazooka man heat viper and he's a pretty awesome figure. I bought it for 20 bucks, believe it or not. You can go back on my on my very first video of my channel and check it out. Got it for 20 bucks carded, and it came back with an 85 near mint plus score. Card got an 85, bubble 80, figure 85. Uh, it was 1989, sorry. Uh, I, I thought for some reason I thought it was 87 but or 88, but it was 89. Series 8, 34 back, Heat Viper, 85, near mint plus. So it's just crazy that I got such a high score on it. I was expecting an 80. I got an 85. I was super ecstatic about it. Very cool figure, though. Let's take a quick look at the back. Um, uh, you know, this is towards the end of the run of G.I. Joe's success or popularity. They were really kind of starting to fade in popularity by now. But uh, a number of these figures were, were from 1988. I know that that Storm Shadow came out in 88. I believe Shockwave either came out in 87 or 88 as well. I've got that one carded as well as Repeater. I got both of them carded. Uh, as well as the Frag Viper carded. So, um, pretty cool figure, though, overall. There, I, I really want to get an Astro Viper to add to my Viper collection, uh, as well as a Hydro Viper that you see there. But here's the card. Uh, I won't read through it all, but, um, you know, he, he's a pretty cool figure. Um, they just, you know, as you can tell here, he's got kind of a neon yellow and purple scheme, which is not really in keeping with Cobra's colors or just military gear in, in general. But... This was towards the end of the run, and once we started to get into the 1990s for these G.I. Joes, they really got crazy. They went hog wild with the uh, neon colors. So, um, you know, you can see a couple of others, other, a couple of other Vipers that I have not gotten, uh, that I've not had a chance to uh, open yet, but I'll, I'll do reviews on those. We got the Frag Viper on the left, and then the Techno Viper from, I believe, 87. The Techno Viper is absolutely one of the best figures uh, in the G.I. Joe line, in my opinion. But before I ended this video, I wanted to show you one other uh, Heat Viper that I have. Uh, I've got three of these, and they came from the 19, or excuse me, the 2018 this year's JoeCon. And this is uh, the JoeCon this year is, is supposedly the last one. And uh, they did what's called a Python Patrol theme. The Python Patrol came out 
uh, I believe in 88 or 89. It was kind of like a subgrouping for uh, Cobra, and they all had like this ridiculous uh, kind of python skin on their, on their armor. But this is one of the figures. Uh, you can see the paint application on the silver of his paint is not very good there. But this is one of the figures. I've got three of these. Um, but you can see it's a nice homage to the original. The backpack looks very similar, although it's done in black. The, you know, obviously the color scheme is completely different. Much cooler color scheme, in my opinion, than uh, the original. Uh, the missiles, instead of attaching individually, are just like uh, one piece that attached to his ankles. So that makes it a little bit easier for keeping up with parts. Um, and uh, the foul card is a little bit different. Uh, I've read through it, and it's, it is a little bit different. These are Python Heat, heat Viper Troopers. Uh, but you can see the Python Patrol logo there. And then the weapon is also very similar. It's a little thinner, uh, so not quite as wide. But it actually looks a little bit longer than the vintage one. And you can see the hose that attaches there. But anyway, I did get three of these. I've got, like, uh, a number of these... Uh, Python Patrol figures, they came in three packs, most of them, like Rock Vipers and Laser Vipers and all kinds of different Vipers, and uh, the, most of them came in like a sealed three pack, and I'm, I'm planning on sending those into CAS at some point for grading, uh, all in kind of one case, just to, to make it look cool, and I, I thought I'd go ahead and get three of these Heat Vipers to do the same thing, so I've got, I think I've got three or four different Viper uh, troop variants of three each, so like 12 figures total, but they're going to be encased in like a separate case for each of the different Viper classes. So, you know, is it is it overkill? Absolutely. But it's going to look really cool when it's done. I've already got one of them in grading right now, a Heli Viper uh, from about three or four years ago, another Jocon exclusive. So that'll be the first one back, but uh, I've got three or four others that I'm going to send in and it's completely ridiculous and completely unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyway, cause it's going to look really cool in my collection. So anyway, uh, I just thought I'd show you the Jocon 2018 heat Viper, uh, as it relates to the vintage one, very cool figure. One of my favorites. I have no idea why. I guess I'm crazy. I guess I'm a little weird, but I guess you guys knew that by now. Thanks for watching. Talk to you there.